Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given equation that involves radicals and eventually we're gonna check our answer for any extraneous solution. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to make sure first of all I want you to just move this part to the right hand side. So that's the very first step we're going to do. So we want to isolate one of the radical. So that's going to make our job a lot easier. Once you move this one on the other side, this simply become two negative become positive square root of x minus three. Now we want to get rid of this uh, radical square root. We're going to be squaring on both sides. You square on this side and you square on this side. You see this square and square root, they undo each other. So we simply got x plus 5 on the left hand side. And over here we will be using a plus b squared formula. So that's going to give you simply 4. This is simply become 4 plus 2 times 2 and then square root of x minus 3 and plus square root of x minus 3 and then square. So far so good. So the next step is and by the way if you are not sure how we did it the right hand side part here i use the fact you can see step by step how i did it so let's go ahead and simplify so this is going to become x plus 5 equal to 4 plus 2 times 2 is 4 times square root of x minus 3 once again this square and square root they undo each other so we simply got uh, x minus 3. So far so good. So that is simply going to give us, let's simplify on the right hand side. So you can see 4 minus 3. These are light terms. That's going to give you 1 plus, now leave everything as it is, x minus 3 and then plus x so far so good now we want to isolate now this square root part so in order to that one i want you to move this one on the left hand side and this x on the left hand side as well so what is going to happen we already have a x plus 5 on the left hand side when you move this one on the other side become negative 1 and this positive x when you move it on the other side become negative x and on the right hand side is we are left with 4 times square root of x minus 3. So far so good. Now you can see over here x and minus x they cross out so we simply 5 minus 1 is 4 equal to 4 times square root of x minus 3. Now the next thing what we want to do is I want you to divide both sides by 4. So this 4 and 4 become simply 1 and here 4 and 4 they cancel out so we ended up with x minus 3. The next thing what we want to do is we want to square both sides again. So what is going to happen is we know that 1 squared is simply 1 equal to once again this square and square root they undo each other we got x minus 3. Now I want you to move this negative 3 on the other side become positive 3 equals to x. So that means x equals to 4 
is our solution and finally we want to check our answer for any extraneous solution so in the previous step we figured out x equal to 4 is our solution now let's plug it in in our original equation wherever you see x replace it by 4 so let's take care of that thing so that's gonna give you 4 plus 5 minus over here 4 minus 3 and my question is is the left hand side is equal to 2 so 4 plus 5 is 9 square root minus square root of 1 left hand side that's gonna give you 3 minus square root of 1 is 1 question mark is it equal to 2 3 minus 1 is 2 my question is 2 equals to 2 that is yes that means this statement is true thus x equal to 4 is our solution thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos